when I grew up, once upon a time, about one box 420, Elm City, North Carolina, 27822. This was uh, where we used to get off the bus, my sisters and I. This was a tree. <laughs> Ditch. What about the mailbox? Uh, we coming close to it. Let's see. Let's see if I remember where the mailbox used to be. So you know it still had the ditch. Remember when Uncle Roger got um in the ditch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Over there, you swear stuff. And you see all them trees they got? Mm-hmm. Over huh? there. What's the, where the pack house? No, no, not the pack house. It's a shed, a tobacco shed over there. Mama grave is a back there. You think it's farther down? Yeah. It's farther down. A little, not that far because the house was a little further up. And all the other different little houses along the way. Wait a minute, that was a big tree right there. So they had Remember the pecan tree? That right there had to be a pecan. No, there wasn't pecan. We had three pecan trees. But it was one close to the road. The yeah, pecan. it was over there. The big pecan tree was over there. And then, yeah, that was a big pecan tree. And then the small one was on the side of the house. And then the middle one was in the backyard. Mm. The mailbox was right here. I don't know. I just think the mailbox was right here. It seemed like it was on the straight part. Yeah, because it's pretty. Mm. Yeah, I think this was the mailbox. Feel over there. They just cleaned up the land. Took all the trees, the timber. Right here was the side of the house. That's six acres. Hello everyone, welcome to the City of Healing, where the city resides within. This is Sunette Natura Angela, and I hope that you all are having a wonderful Sunday. And I wanted to come forth just to do a brief share, uh, share my first video of 2020. Um, I didn't really want to come forth any earlier, didn't have a plan, 
or anything like that. I just like, when it feels right, I'll just come forth and share. And it felt right this morning just to just do a perspective of what I feel is in the air, um, knowing that it is 2020 year. Happy New Year. I know I shared that I was sick on last Sunday. I went to the emergency room because my asthma flared, so-called asthma flared. Had to get rid of some inflammation, started on some prednisone, uh, doing much better. Uh, the cold, like I mentioned before, uh, they said I had influenza or flu. I, didn't, I don't think I had, I did not have the influenza or flu. And just because you do get a virus or cold or influenza, it doesn't mean that you're in a bad state because there are some healthy people that do get it. And there are some unhealthy people that do not get the flu. So we'll see. But this has been a, um, a long time since I really had a really, really bad cold, so to speak. And an asthma flare specifically, years, years that, you know, I couldn't get control of opium, opening up my bronchial so that I could breathe well. That's been a while. And I attribute that to a lot of things, specifically about something going on in the air. And it's been raining a lot lately. And yesterday it suddenly subsided and I went outside and it felt so refreshing and fresh. And I could take a deep breath. So I knew it was something that was definitely in the air. And it's definitely better now. And the sun is out now. And um, it's still something there. But I also contribute, you know, what happened during the holidays as well. I decided that I wanted to go to the country where me and my sisters in part grew up. So I wanted to go to the country. Of course, the house isn't there anymore. Uh, my grandmother is buried on the land. And my aunt had mentioned, I believe it was last year, she sold the timber off the land. And when I went there, I was a little disappointed. Um, because I was disappointed because the spirit was not there. Something was totally different off. And I can tell that my grandmother's spirit wasn't really that much so there either. But the land was barren. I'll share a little excerpts of videos of the trip down there um, just to have that on video. But it was so surreal. I could tell that the, the land was angry. It wasn't a, a happy experience. It was good to be there to remember what was where, this, that, and the other. It was still good, but something was definitely still not off. So I'm not sure if that has something to do with the, the asthma as well. So going forth, I just have a lot of things that I have to uh, take into perspective and learn about that experience of visiting the land. And um, even though I enjoyed the, the trip, it was a lot to uh, think about and learn about myself as well. And um, getting this cold has, has been a different kind of experience as well. I mean. I've never not been so well or sickly, <laughs> you know. I had so many, it seems like I was basically purging. I was definitely purging also. I had these nosebleeds and oh my goodness, I had a really bad nosebleeds. I was like having nosebleeds every day, even though prednisone dries you out. Um, I still should not have that many nosebleeds. And I was so ingested within here and still is, yeah, still I am but not as much as I was. And uh, it was a very interesting experience. And then New Year's, um, I like to spend basically sleep. I like to be sleep when New Year hits. I don't have to be out, but it's been years since I've been out, outside of you know my home or myself or my bed. <laughs> Even though maybe one day I'll decide that I want to be. It's nothing wrong with it. It's just my choice. And so I was home alone. My kids did not want to be home. They never do on New Year's. And that's fine. We had our talk. They were safe. They were good. They did excellent. And um, I spent it within myself and my subconscious um, in review of the year in hopes for the future, basically, is um, my idea of what I'm doing. And um, 
I felt also that there's something, even though I don't look at the news and I've heard bits and pieces of this and that and the other, I know something is going on with Trump. I know that there are some viruses or flu influenza in the air. I know that um, that something about a war and that something is going on. But anyway, I just decided, you know, not to partake in the media about it. So I haven't been reading, getting into it. But I decided that since I was spending all this time by myself, that I wanted to um, look at some movies. So I resorted to Netflix. And on Netflix, I came to this movie called Messiah. It's like, Messiah, why did I even decide? I don't know. I just started looking at it. It's a TV series, and I don't look at TV series. I don't like TV series. I like a movie and just be done with it. But it was like nine or ten episodes, <laughs> series, and I looked at them. And um, I was like, wow. Anyway, not really giving away that much, but basically it's everything is a metaphor, even Trump. I don't, don't even take him as a person personally because everything is a metaphor, really. In the movie, these episodes are really metaphors and lessons as well. And basically, it's like we're being tested. Our faith is being tested. And a lot is, yes, a lot, a lot, of, a lot is going on, really. And we are being tested, you know. Um, what people we call this new age thing. Of course, it's not new age of uh, different spiritual beliefs. Of course, it's not new. And then um, some of us talking about whether Jesus is real, whether he's returning, this, that, and the other. And um, all of these things are metaphors. And we could say, no, there's no such thing. as so there, there was no Jesus. I mean, what harm is it really? There is no harm in it. And we're not being fooled or bit misled. And people said we were lying too heavily on television. But hey, I mean, if people are looking at YouTube and relying on other people. So you really can't really get away from it. So you have to have to really depend on your own perception and your own thinking and your own rationale. I mean, you really can't teach anybody anything, really, because it's all about perception. Nobody can teach you something that you don't really already know, you know, believe it or not. Um, you already know. Maybe we are memory recover specialists that's helping you to remember because everybody is not going to know or take into consideration the same concept of different constructs of information. You just, just not, it's just two um, individual ways that you can really take it. But anyway, this this um, series, like I said, the lesson I got from it was that we are being tested. And funny, at the same time, I got a response, uh, an alert from one of my videos talking about magic and science that we don't understand yeah, and basically in that video, I was saying how some people just don't like to take magic as just magic or miracles as just miracles. They just have to go around to figure out why it is not and try to debunk it and not believe it, you know. But you really have to look at it as a very much so needed um television series to watch. It's funny that it will come on. Um, I don't know how long it's been on, but funny that it will appear now at this time when something is in the air about Trump and something is in the air about war. It's very interesting. And then after that, I wanted to... I got a, a, another alert to look at a movie, Inception, so I looked at that again. And uh, Inception, I haven't looked at that in years. And when I looked at it before, I really could not get into it. I really didn't know what it was about. But this time it was like, okay, I don't really get it. You know, these are things that is, is known, you know, that we are really 
in the dream state right now. Life is really but a dream. And what is really reality, we are don't have a grasp of it. While we in this uh, uh, awaken or sleep state that we think that we are in, and we have a lot of manipulators um, controlling or trying to control our constructs of our minds, our subconscious mind anyway. And we are in control of controlling it ourselves, really. We just have to know that and go more within instead of relying on others or television or YouTube or this person or that person to give us the answers. Nobody can teach us anything that we don't already know because if it doesn't resonate, it's just not going to resonate. Anyway, I just wanted to come forth and just share that. My first video of 2020, full vision. Full vision is your vision that you already have a grasp of and um, in your awakened state, whatever you decide, which is your reality, you are in complete control. And I hope that 2020 is all that you are planning it to be and know that it can be. Anyway, thanks for visiting the city. Hope this was helpful. And I know it seemed like a lot of rambling, but everything is very relative and everything is very much so related from getting this um, cold and this asthma and this inflammation to going into the country to what's going on in the media with Trump and um, war, supposedly, maybe, maybe not. Um, these television series with this Netflix, all of that is relevant. Um, I'm not going to tell you what and what not to believe about it. It's up to you to put your own perspective and perception on it because it is definitely relative. Anyway, thanks for visiting the city. I am much so looking forward to continuing sharing. Um, I don't have a plan. Um, I don't make too many plans. My plan is not to um, have a plan and just to be led um, spiritually, mentally, uh, emotionally to continue to share and to learn and to grow and to wish you all uh, much uh, peace and happiness and health as possible. Anyway, this has been Sinatna Angela, your sister, your sacred sister, uh, lover of nature, lover of all people, hoping that um, we all get the lesson and keep the faith and continue to believe in miracles. Anyway, take care.